Joffrey, Renly, Rob Stark, they're all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. Hello everyone, Grand Mason Stitch here and welcome back to the Citadel 4 House Vacar. We've had no introduction for this episode as we're still finishing off what we were doing, so there was no real room for a POV. I thought I'd skip over it this week as we're still in the middle of this war and conquest to claim the last few lands of North Valeria. So hopefully we'll get those done in this episode. We are playing as Emperor Orion the Drunkard of New Valeria, the brother of Astorion. Now that I've got this DLC, I think I'm going to go to the bar because I don't like that little tash that he has, to be honest. Let's have that horrible little stubble, considering he's a drunkard. I think that suits him a little bit better. Should we go for a different hairstyle, maybe? Let's have a look what we've got. I might leave him as he... Let's leave him as he was hairstyle-wise, but I am going to change that tash because I... I'm not a fan of that tash. We'll go for the unclean shaven stubble he's still got his two wives as well as well as his five children only one trueborn the rest are bastards but he has legitimized his oldest son so we've got a lot of uh ones that we could marry off we're currently at war with this small dothraki land here as they are raiding so we need to finish those off with gifted land to a couple more of our nephews such as the Verandian son, Lord Damon. And I did notice, actually, that Arlix Verandian has remarried to a second Valerian wife. And he now has a new son called Robin Verandian. So it'll be interesting to see where he goes as he is not a Vakar. So will he try and claim back the Stormlands? Who knows? At least the Verandian name will carry on. As well as we've got our absolute madman, Mance, Mance the Mad, down here in Sephoros, where he's got his kingdom of Sephoros. And they're currently... Going under a bit of a plague. This guy absolutely terrifies me. <laughs> I love him, but he terrifies me. I'm absolutely, yeah, terrified of that guy. Right, so let's get into it. We are at war with the Dothraki. It shouldn't be too hard to end this. It's only a small raiding party. My lover seems to be going through a particularly harsh pregnancy. Perhaps it would be best for her to retire for a few months from public life and think of her health during this delicate period of her life. I will tell my lover to take leave for her pregnancy. Okay, so we've got another bastard on the way as well then. So that's going to give us six bastards. This guy's literally Aegon the Unworthy reborn. Okay, she's taken my advice, so that's good. Right, let's march on and get this new Valyrian area and see. This is our nephew Rhaegal's land. I think he's going to be trouble in the future. He scares me a little bit as well. He's a little bit nuts and a little bit ambitious. So it'll be interesting to see what does happen with him in the future. But I want to take down this Dothraki, little Dothraki raid quickly so that we can then go take Kohor and Norvos. They're the only three cities left now, other than Bravos, which was... Oh no, Loroth as well. I always forget Loroth because it's so small up there. Okay, here we go. Let's get there quickly. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of the Knights of the North, my new custom character series. I really enjoyed making that first one, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Your Imperial Majesty, your bodyguard, Anders, tried to hatch a dragon from his egg, but failed. He lost his egg in the process. Okay, fool. Looks like he's been burnt as well. During the last few days, my daughter Lazana has been clutching at her stomach and made frequent visits to the privy. I have now been informed that she is suffering from a Uh Call for a physician at once. I want to make sure we can make her, her better. Winter is coming. We should be all right down where we live, hopefully. Awesome. Our um, levees have improved. Alaris Vakar has had storm clouds dragon egg removed from their treasure. Okay, so our sister has given that dragon egg away to somebody. Ah, uh, she's gave it to Rhaenerys Vapor, who we... Our daughter. Okay, so she must have gave it to our daughter. That's interesting. I don't know why our daughter hasn't got a dragon egg anyway. The bloodline of House Vapor lays claims to a traditional ancestral lands. Lands that must be reclaimed. Free city of North Valyria. Okay. Oh, has he turned that into a free city, has he? Okay, interesting. Very interesting. We'll see what's going on there once we end this Dothraki war. Let's merge our troops together. We have got a dragon, so we could easily burn the Dothraki, just like Orion said he would. Why is Orion not leading this army? We have Rhaegal, and let's go with Arlix Verandon as well. As you are working, court physician Lagon burst into your study. Your Imperial Majesty, you've been up all night again. It would be your best interest not to work so hard. Okay, perhaps you're right. I will heed your advice. Loses the trait stressed. Yeah, we'll go with that. 
The pressures of life no longer seem so overwhelming. I'm not stressed anymore. Excellent. Right, let's march on to the Dothraki and burn them. Your vassals now drew, uh, view you with respect. Awesome. Right, so yeah, so what's happened down here then in Mantaris? What? Your liege. Okay. Merchant. So he's turned it into a merchant republic, North Valeria. That's interesting. Renella tried to hatch a dragon. It's, uh, tried to catch the dragon sea wing and failed. Empress Renella of New Valeria, your first wife. Okay, that is um, a story on dragon that she's tried to capture there. And failed. Doom is still as wild as ever somewhere up here. Still been untamed. He's been free for like 30 years or more now. It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, there we go. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? That Dothraki war. There we go. Offer peace and force demands. Yes. Thank God for that. Right. Now wait for the wars to subside. We need a new ambition. What can we go for for you, Emperor Orion? See the realm prosper. That is literally it. Well, no, we don't want to see the realm prosper until we finish capturing the realm. We've still got a couple of areas left to get before then. That looks better. Look at that now. Yes, we'll reappoint the old council. New Valyria looks awesome. New Gis and Lazar are part of that as well. We've just got to wait for them to finish whatever they're doing. Right, we've got too many vassals. Right, yes, we have. If I remember rightly, for some reason, this guy is under our vassalage. So we will transfer vassalage of... Oh, okay, it's gone with. We will transfer vassalage of this guy here to you because I don't know why he is under our control and we need to transfer some other vassalage okay uh, who else is our vassal that we can transfer to somebody else hmm 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 let's have a look right okay who's this here is this a capital are you under us? You shouldn't be under us. We'll transfer you to our nephew. Transfer vassalage of... Let's have a look who we've got here. Um... Okay, I've noticed that we've got a couple of Andal uh, vassals now, which is interesting, to say the least. Arlix. Hmm. I don't really want to send him under you. Where are you? Right. Okay. We'll do some of the vassals up here instead then. Let's... Pentos. Hmm. What about round the lakes here? We've got Whitehorn. Right. We'll send Whitehorn. Let's uh, transfer the vassalage of your brother. We can't. That's annoying. Transfer vassalage of. Duh, 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 duh. All these Andals, we'll send them to the Pentos. Let them go under Pentos. Transfer vassalage of some of these Andals to Pentos. Not Tyrell, though, he will stay under us. We'll send Carl to you. Send. And we will transfer vassalage of. Royce. Loads of Andals over here now, which is very interesting to see what's going on there with all these new Andals that are popping up. Like, Andalos is starting to make a comeback all of a sudden. Yep, Horton, and we'll transfer the other guy to you as well. Who's up here? Jared. There we go. Right, now we will go straight for war on Kohor. Let's get Kohor under control if we can. Oh no, I think Kohor is already ours actually, isn't it? I think they must just be at war, so let's go for Norbos then. Can we not declare war on Norbos? Have we still got a truce with you or something then? No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on up here then. We'll always go for somewhere else instead. Okay. Clayton Gardner. Marry as you please, Clayton Gardner. His wife was killed by King Orion of the Iron Thrones dragon. Ah, interesting. That must have been before they got exiled then. The son was born to Emperor Orion the Drunkard and Stormsinger Salace of Illyria. Awesome. 
We've got a, another son, another Valyrian son. That is perfect. Another bastard, but acknowledge him as mine, but we won't legitimize him for now because we've already legitimized. Wow, all bastard. Most of them are from the same mother, which is quite funny. The priestess. Grave news. The colony in Death Swamps is struggling. We'll send supplies to relieve them then. Right. Why can I not declare... Ah, I've not... You idiot. I'm such an idiot. I forgot that I hadn't disbanded these because I went off doing other things. I completely forgot. Right. Now let's have a look. Do we have cohort? I can't remember. Yes, we do have that then. So we will go for Norvos. That was the one where we was... Yeah, let's declare Dragon Conquest of Norvos. If I remember rightly, that's the one we was at war with, with a story on before he tragically died of grayscale. Right, so now we're at war with them. Let's... Excellent. VFK, everyone's coming to our aid. Can we call up our own military? Raise personal... Okay, apparently I've got no army levies at all. Which is interesting. I'll order him to stand down. Uh, maybe I'll just allow it this once then. Why have I not got any vassals to raise? What's going on? We'll leave the council positions for now. They will surely honour their obligations. Excellent. So most of them are coming to my side. But I don't really need to raise men because... Okay, they're letting us raise them now. Normally they just go and sort it out themselves anyway. Let's meet up here, please. Quickly now. Most have come to our aid, so we should be able to take Cohort quite quickly. Your Imperial Majesty, we've received word from Bravos. Lady Yona has led them to join a coalition in defence of Norvos. Uh, not Cohort, we're going after Norvos, aren't we? Sorry. Colin Gardner is currently under my control, and his relative, Lady Diana, the Unwanted Order, is currently opposing us. It's not his fault. It's not her fault. We'll have all this land soon. Don't worry about it. Okay. A colony is under siege. We'll, we'll go in there. Uh, relieve that siege don't worry we'll be there soon get our troops together as quickly as possible here we go 31,000 men my intense study of warfare has led to an increased understanding of tactics and strategy time for a good war loses the trait skilled commander gains the trait brilliant commander awesome merge these together 29,000 men and let's go and okay so Mir's gone against us has it we're at war with okay interesting I'm surprised that Mir have uh, gone against us oh no Mir we're in a different war with Mir apparently what's this war for them war of Mirish independence oh I see well that's not going to go very well is it we'll uh, replace you with somebody else then if you're going to uh, declare war on us well, considering everyone else has come to our aid for the Norvos War, we'll take our army to Mir and burn it to the ground as a lesson to what happens to traitors. And then we will put somebody new in charge if we get the option to do so. Rebel leader and a tyrant. He's a tyrant as well, so... Yeah, we'll replace him as soon as we take that land then. Let's go and burn it to the ground. Should be an easy victory. We've, okay, we can just assault it. It's only got five defenders, so that's easy enough. I only got 200 defenders. Easy enough. Right, now there's a bit more. So let's deploy our dragon in the siege of Dracaris. Your Imperial Majesty, the colony at Goyar Dere is under siege. Yeah, we'll get up there and uh, help lift the siege soon. Do not worry. Once I take down the uh, Mirish. Fighting for independence. How dare they pick an ambition? We may as well pick win the war, haven't we? Why we're at war. Just for some easy prestige. We have got a lot of prestige anyway. Got a lot of piety as well, which is unusual. I didn't expect. Okay, we've captured him. Our nephew has captured him. So that is awesome. Let's offer peace. Enforce demands. Yes, there we go. The war for Mir has been won. Um... The war has been won. The rebel armies have been crushed by our brave loyalists. Magister Gelono Trellis, one of the traitors, has been brought before you to hear your judgment. Surrender Mir to the crown and will be taken prisoner. Yes, he will forfeit Mir. It's your own fault. 
And now let's march on to Norvos and Bravos. And who do I give Mir to? Give it to one of our loyal men. I might give it to the gardener. I did say that I'd give them new lands if they bent the knee. So let's pick ambition to win the war again. It's just easy prestige, isn't it? Very easy. Okay, child lacking educational focus. One of our bastards. Hanera Vekar. What are you good at? Wow. Very good at martial. So we'll go with struggle. Just need to wait now to revoke his lands. We'll march up to Norvos while we wait for him to forfeit his lands. Or have we already forfeited his lands? Can we give it to somebody already? Let's have a look, court. Where is Revan Gardner? There you are. I want to give it to you. Now we can't while we're at war, can we? So let's let's just finish this war. Our money goes up so quick though. We've like gained six, seven hundred gold this episode alone already. It just flies up so quickly when you own New Valeria. It is insane. Lord Wyonhor has been a leal and able servant. He has indeed I'll arrange a gift to give him some gold. I do plan on giving him the whole of the Roiner when we can own the whole of the Roiner. World of Epidemic. We have received news of an epidemic in North Shadowlands. The information is vague, but word is people are dying like flies and the fear of the disease is spreading as fast as the affliction itself. Furthermore, the condition is reported irreversible as well as incurable and the scattered records of the events are worrisome. With no source of evil revealed, people are turning to their gods and on each other to protect themselves from contagion. Uh, <coughs> contagion. Contagion. Many call it a new great sickness. May Orax make all heathens suffer okay interesting so stuff's kicking off in the shadowlands let's crush that bravosi armor on our way to norvos more people view viewers with respect the battle was like normal and until master moors of sar roy used water magic to flood the field awesome so we're fighting at some roynish priests that makes that's very interesting i've not really ever done that before so it's the first time i've seen that happen Let's get this war over with quickly. Special title actions. Colonize Sahoy. Yes, we'll, we'll do that once we finish this war. Here we go. We've got the capital under siege. Assault. Only six defenders. Send supplies to the colony that's struggling. So even though we've done that several times this episode, our money is still just like shooting up at a ridiculous rate. The sacking of Norvos was most brutal with many prisoners being taken. In fact, we have so many prisoners we could take some of them back to Sarmel as slaves. Yes, bring them to my camp. This is Orion we're talking about. He's a brutal man. He's ruthless. He gets the job done. Your Imperial Majesty, the group of slaves that were captured in Norvos was selected to join your personal. Okay, I'll have a look at those later on. All right, so now that we've won that siege, let's deploy Dragon in the siege and burn Norvos. Because this is the second time we've tried to win Norvos and I just want to get it out of the way. Orion will do whatever it takes. Okay, so if someone wants to buy our slave, she's not that good, to be fair. You can have her for 75 gold coins. Why not? Nothing too promising. Okay, outrageous. Well, don't pay it then. I'm not bothered. Okay, my wife is pregnant, so we're going to get another trueborn son. Give them gold for now. We've got plenty of gold. This war's nearly over. Your Imperial Majesty, I will honor my alliance and take up arms to defend the realm against New Valeria's enemies. Well, better late than never, I suppose. Deploy Dragon in the Siege, Dracaris. Let's get this over with quickly. An assault, 35 defenders. Every night, ever since she was given it, my daughter Renera has been sleeping with her dragon egg, but it has remained cold as the months slip by. We have given up all hope of it hatching anytime soon. Well, that happened with a story on Sun, Aenys, but he did hatch it eventually. It just took a lot longer than any of the other children to hatch. I think he was like 11, 12 by the time it finally hatched, and then he died not long afterwards. Let him rot. So we're at 45%, so we're almost there. What's going on with... Uh... Okay, so he's not... Why has he not lost his titles? I know mean, he might have lost the whole kingdom of Mir actually so we can give it to someone above him hopefully okay your imperial majesty for some time now I've been in the employ of Lady Pizarra but now I seek a better station let's have a look at you okay you've got decent intrigue decent you're not too bad actually yeah go on then it's only 50 gold we'll we'll accept you why not
Okay, we need a new lord. I'll leave. I'll sort the council out after the war because it always changes. Your Imperial Majesty, the Kingdom of Mir currently has no incubant separate from the crown. I petition that I should be made overlord of this region as your most loyal and able bannerman. Uh, no, I don't think so. You rebelled, mate. I'm going to give that to somebody else. I think you'll find. I'm not giving it to you. Can we give that to a Revan Gardener now then? Now that it's letting us... No, we can't grant title. Unless it's because he doesn't own anything at the moment. So, let's just... Burn this place down quickly. Nearly. There we go. Another great victory. They will surely honour that. It's taken a long time to win this war. Your Imperial Majesty, the colony at Arnoy is under siege. Is this Arnoy? Yes, it is. Of course it was. Right. Uh, we've seized the capital. Oh, interesting. Empress Illyria of North Valyria has declared Empress Illyria's claim on North Valyria war on Emperor Orion the Drunkard. Well, that is interesting. Our sister has tried to claim the throne. Now, I don't know why she's done this. Where her are, Where is her force then? Has she got her own force? Where are they going to wear? Where is she attacking from? Because she doesn't really actually have... She's up in Bravos. What are you doing in Bravos? Okay. Interesting. I am pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the province of Sarmel is doing very well. People are happy and the tax collections are reporting in record intakes. Perfect. Well, that's very interesting that uh, our own sister has rebelled against us. I don't know how much of a force that she's going to have. But we'll find out soon, I'm guessing. Deploy Dragon in the siege again. Let's just get this over and done with in Norvos. And assault again. 300 defenders. Awesome. There we go. Fully under siege. Right, let's march onto this Norvos army that's attacking our new colony. And I'm a little bit worried about our sister. Where is she going to be attacking from? Okay, we've got an army here and an army here that I've missed. We'll just disband you for now. And we'll... Okay, you're going to get into a battle apparently, and we'll, we'll just we'll disband you for now. So, interesting to see, will will uh, her son join her side, or will he stay on our side? No, he's staying on our side. Interesting. So, where has she actually got... Her? Okay, she's got 22,000 men up here in Bravos. Civil war between brother and sister. I wasn't expecting this so early. I thought that had happened in future generations, which obviously she's upset about something. Damon Vaker has had a dragon egg added to his treasurer. Awesome. The great sickness approaches. Mobs of new people are arriving in Borosh. Most of the newly arrived are commoners fleeing the plague that has reached the Demon Road. Just beyond the borders of our realm, some have lost their whole family. Some are trying to protect theirs. And few are travellers or merchants that had their easier time moving. All of them seem to have witnessed indescribable horrors. Hardly any will talk about it at all. The ones that do talk warn others of the coming sickness and urge them to stay inside or pack their things and flee. Let the plague come right. Uh, we should probably shut the gates if there's a plague coming. I'm a bit worried about this plague. Let's bring these 2,000 men up to us. We're probably going to need them. Right, where should we attack next? This Bravos armor. The dragon seaweed has produced offspring of its own, hatching a new dragon from a clutch of her eggs. Okay, Vagar. Interesting. I'm worried about our sister's army that is marching down on us. Oh, wow, and she's got 13,000 men there. Six wow, she's got a lot of men. Another daughter has been born. Awesome. A little bit, but Arlix is still leading men for us, even though his wife has gone rogue. She's gone a bit cray cray. Everyone is coming to our aid, though, so that's okay. I, don't, I might just meet her in battle. We've got equal numbers. I think we could probably take her in battle, to be honest. Let's see if we can. 
Okay, that Bravos army is fleeing. I'm gonna... Emperor Arlix, the hero of Hoshnak, has inherited High Lordship of Borash and other titles from Lord Damon Borash. Oh no, he's died of the, uh, died of the dreaded plague. Oh shit, our nephew has died of the plague. That, that is literally sweeping across from the east. I'm a bit worried now about this. How much of the world is it overtaken? Where's the, uh, epidemics again? Oh crap, the great, wow. So the whole of Yeti is like gone with the plague and Calf, all of the Slaver's Bay, all of North Valyria and it's just outside of Sarmel. Wow, that has spread like mad. That is very worrying. We need to get this war over quickly. Now is not the time for war. Let's go fight that Bravos army quickly. Actually, let's take out our sister's weaker armies. This is a big worry. There's a lot of stuff going down, which is not great. I don't know what we're going to do about all this. Let's just try and get Norvos. The Norvos war ended first. And then... Right, did those 13,000 men skip on past us? It looks like they did. So we need to end this Nor... Oh no, there they are. Nah, they're going to get away. So let's just go for the uh, Norvos. We need to finish off the Norvos war quickly. And get them under our control. Before we can sort our sister out. Hopefully our banner men will sort our sister out in her measly rebellion that she's trying to attempt. I like Delaris Vekar as well. I was a big fan of her. And then she goes and does this. Not happy. Not happy at all. Slow this down a little bit. It's going a bit wild. Alright, let's go to the capital and take out what's left of their armor and hopefully that'll about win it for us we shouldn't be too far off not got any commanders because everyone is sealing their self up behind their walls okay we've got four thousand men here uh let's march let's just march those up here as well to the capital to reinforce our own armor cerulean blackthorn is now known as the accursed Faceless Man Cerulean. Now that is... That's pretty worrying and terrifying. And he still has dragon eggs. And he has two concubines. And he now has a child as well. Kayat Blackthorn. So he's still going to be trouble in the future at some point. I can't believe that he's become a faceless man. That is uh, pretty terrifying. We're losing a lot of money as well now that with this plague. Seventy-one percent. Things are going very badly this episode. Things are crumbling in the New Valyrian Empire. Someone else has died of the Great Plague. Rapatis. One of uh, the characters from the beginning. Okay, so Cerulean Blackthorn's son has just died of the Great Plague. So that means it's got to Bravos now. It won't be long till it crosses the Narrow Sea into uh, Westeros then at this rate. Let's have a look. Is it spreaded anymore? Oh my god, the whole of Essos pretty much, apart from the Dothraki Sea, is now affected by the Great Sickness, Great Plague. This is not good. I wonder how long it's going to stay for. Can we outlive it? I'm not sure if we, we are, if we will survive this. It's one hell of a plague. Need to get Norvos under control quickly. I'm interested to see if it spreads into Westeros as well. This could weaken Essos hugely. Let's merge our armies, new army together. Can't deploy our dragon because we're not leading armies as we are. Trying to hide from the Great Sickness. Things are not looking great. Let's assault. Get this under siege. There we go. Victorette. 
And there's only 149 defenders, so we'll assault again. I want to get this war over with as quickly as possible now. And again, 82%. What else can we get under sea? Well, there's an armor. Can we catch up with them? No. Let's cross around to here instead then and get that under siege quickly. Winter's coming to an end, which is good. Will that let the Great Plague leave with it, or will the Great Plague stay around a bit longer? Offer of peace. Blessing upon you and your house. These are the terms of your surrender. Oh, my surrender? Gains the empire of North Valyria. Oh, North Valyria. Oh, and it's the empire, though, so no decline. Wow, we're losing that quite heavily. I've just realised. Damn it. What are our bannermen playing at? Got a lot of money. We could race. Hmm. No. It looks like we might have to give her, give in and give her North Valyria. For now. Surrender. Empire of North Valyria. Don't really want to give her that. But we are going to lose. We've got no chance of winning this now. Things are not looking good. At all. She's actually crushed us in the south while we're fighting Norvos. She'll be using her dragon as well. We're just going to have to let her win. She's going to take it. We'll take it back. Let's just get this... We need to get this Norvos War ended. It's not a great day for the uh, Valyrian Empire. What? Someone's, someone has tamed Doom. And Andal has tamed Doom, apparently. Interesting. I'm going to have to accept you then, aren't I, sister? She's claimed North Valyria. Not good at all. We should have took our sister a little bit more seriously. I didn't expect her to just sweep through like that. The Far East, ravaged by the plague, the Great Sickness has spread across much of the Far East, from the north plains of Jogus Nai to the southern jungles of Yiti, and even in the Far Ashai. Why all the people sought refuge in the temples at first, and now they too lay deserted, only corpse, corpses bowing before the gods, bodies bloated beyond recognition, float down the mighty rivers into the Jade Sea. When will it end? Ninety-three percent. We're almost there, and we're going to need this land as well for the war to come. Considering that our sister has taken a lot of land, I should have destroyed that title. We will have a claim on it, though. We will claim it back, or die in the attempt, and then we'll just play as our sister. Enforce demands. Yes. Disband unit. Yeah, there we go. No, no, right, let everything settle down. I want to see what we actually do own now. The Empire is split in two as brother fights a sister. Oh my god, look at all our children now. Her heir is Prince Rhaegal. She's 50 now. She's getting quite old. Your storm sigur Jagan has brought you some troubling news. Words are spreading that worshippers of the demons are the root of the terrible epidemic ravaging your realm. Jagan encourages you look into these rumours. Horrifying news indeed. Investigate this for me, Jagan. Until the next time. Okay, so we still... We still own most of their... 
looks like we still own most of everything. Our sister has literally only taken this area around Sarmel. She's taken the capital. So she shouldn't have too many men. She's got three, 4,000 men. We have got 33,000. So we're easily going to be able to take that back. But it's just the fact that it's our own sister has betrayed us. Gone power hungry. I don't know what's happened. She's meant to be the responsible one. Oh, and she does. She owns this bit of land over here as well, but not a great amount there. We will take it back. I'll end this episode here for now, though. We almost have all the free cities, just Bravos and Loroth left, but our sister has rebelled, so we'll see what we can do about that. Thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and join the Discord server. I'll see you very soon.